dental implants seem to be the hot topic of discussion in dentistry these days. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So join me as I place my first biodenta implant. I have the CBCT scans for my case right here. We are looking to place an implant in the 4-6 region. Now based on the measurements and the CBCT, I have decided to place a 4.1 by 8 mm implant as I have to maintain a safety distance of at least 2 mm above the inferior alveolar nerve. Firstly, I will anesthetize my patient with some lignocaine. Now for an implant surgery, it is highly advisable to work under local infiltration instead of a nerve block, especially when you are working in the region of the inferior alveolar nerve. It's time to start with the incision. In this case, I am using a 12 number blade to get proper access to the site. This is my crystal incision which needs to be right up to the bone in a single smooth stroke. I will also use crevicular incisions both mesial and distal to the operating site. I could either use a 15 or a 12 number blade to accomplish this. I shall now use a periosteal elevator and carefully start reflecting a full thickness flap. The lingual flap is often easier to reflect than the buccal flap. There you can see the bone is nice and wide. Now the first step is to use this guide drill or the lance drill as it is sometimes referred to and just mark the site of the osteotomy. I will not go any deeper than a few millimeters here. The direction is fine so I will go ahead with the 2mm pilot drill. Because I had an estimated length of 8 millimeters, I will use it till I reach the 8 millimeter mark. Following this, I will take an IOPA just to confirm that I am at the safe distance from the nerve. Everything seems to be fine so I can now go ahead with my successive drills in sequence. This is my final drill now and I will make sure I just stop using the drill as I reach the 8mm mark. I have now picked up my Biodenta implant which is a 4.1 by 8mm and I will carry it to the osteotomy site. You can see that the shape of the implant and the drill is similar giving it a cone and cone configuration. The torque on my physio dispenser has been set to 25 ncm and you can see that it is breaking as I am exceeding the torque value. I shall now move over to the torque wrench and set it to 35 newton cm. I can feel that the wrench is breaking again which means that I have a fixation torque of 35 newton cm. Cover screw now goes in and I will suture the flaps back using interrupted sutures. This is what the post-op IOPA looks like. Like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos. This is Dr. Mahesh Jagwani signing off. See you next week.